Hey guys, my name is Sam and welcome to the Salty Spittoon Workout. How tough are ya? If you don't get that reference, go back and watch some old seasons of Spongebob, okay? You're not doing anything else during this quarantine. So it's important for you to experience that, okay? So this is the Salty Spittoon Workout for all my tough guys and gals out there who feel that all of these other workouts are too easy for you online. I promise this one is absolutely gonna be a killer. Okay, um, I'm a certified personal trainer and group fitness instructor at Unique Fitness at both the Farmingville and Holbrook locations. All right, so as usual, I'm gonna explain to you guys what's going on in this workout first. I'm gonna run through all the movements, show you the equipment you can use um, with household items, using them as weights if you don't have weights accessible to you. Then I'm gonna warm you guys up, we're gonna ex execute the workout, and then I'm gonna cool you guys down, okay? So the first movement, um, we're gonna do for this workout is a burpee jump over okay so we're coming out strong here so for this burpee jump over you're gonna um give me a little bit of a tug jump if you can pretend something's on the ground right here driving the knees up to the chest jump it up drop it down chest up lift the hands up if you need to again jump it up and down we're doing five on each side for this exercise movement okay after, we're doing a lunge pulse. I'm throwing lunges in there because, okay, so this is a male targeted workout. I wanna challenge you guys. Also test myself as a trainer. So I'm choosing movements that a lot of males struggle with because a lot of times they don't go through the full range of motion. So I decided to throw some lunges in there, okay? So for your lunge movement, if you have dumbbells, you can use dumbbells. If you have some detergent, you can use your detergent. Okay, chest out, shoulders around the back, one foot in front of the other. You're pulsing, pressing up through the heel of the foot, keeping the slightest bend in the knee, keeping a nice rhythm here, okay? We're gonna start off with that right foot when doing this exercise first, keeping that core tight. We're gonna be doing 10 of those. After, we're going to be doing a glute bridge with a press. Now I know what you're thinking, it's like glute bridge, like really? No, I promise this is a challenging movement, okay? Giving you guys some thrust to practice, okay? Chest out, shoulders around the back. You're in a glute bridge position, okay? Keep that core tight, press up through the heels, exhale, squeeze, bring the elbow down. Exhale, squeeze, bring it down from that side view. This is what your positioning's look, looking like, okay? Like um, hands stacked underneath the shoulder or kind of close to the shoulder, so whatever you're comfortable with, just don't keep it all the way back here or all the way out to the side. Press, but down, press, but down. If you don't have a dumbbell, my other equipment here, you guys can use um, some detergent if you want, windshield wiper fluid, any of these would work. A kettlebell if you have, okay? That's your second movement. We're starting with um, your right arm pressing to begin. We're gonna be doing 10 of those. After we're doing something called up and overs, I'm looking, um, I'm looking at my list as I'm explaining this to you guys. So up and overs, if you've taken jolt before, this is a popular movement we do in the jolt class. Okay, you can do it with a nice large closed container of water, if you have one, okay? Like a 24 pack. Um, you can do it with some detergent, a little bit in the knees, chest out, shoulders right back. Dip those elbows down to go that full range of motion. Get in a little tricep activation in there as well. Exhale, exhale. Up and over is one. Keep a little bend in the knees from that side. You push your butt back slightly. You don't wanna arch like this. That puts a lot of unnecessary pressure on the low back, okay? So that is your fourth movement. We're doing 10 on each side. After, we're doing a med ball push-up. Okay, five on the right, five on the left. Um, ooh. If you don't have a med ball available to you, you can use um, a basketball, a soccer ball, whatever. Um, actually, the, the bigger the ball, um, the more difficult it's gonna be because you have to push yourself up a greater distance to get that same level of parallel to the hand that's placed on the ball, okay? So the full version of your push-up, chest out, shoulders around the back, core tight, okay? Hands stacked underneath the shoulder, 
down, up, switch, down, exhale, push it up. Keep your core tight, modify. Drop it down to the knees. If you are making this a couple workout, okay? Ladies, maybe you wanna drop it down to the knees, chest out, shoulders around the back, hip down, down, exhale, switch, down, exhale, switch, okay? Let's bring the elbows at about a 45 degree angle, targeting the chest and triceps for this one, okay? Not directly back. <clears throat> don't worry, I, I don't have the virus, guys. Just a little dust in this basement. <laughs> All right, after we do five on each side, you guys are repeating the lunges, 10 pulses on your left side, okay? Then you're doing that glute bridge press on the left side as well. After a plank sidewalk with a push up, a plank sidewalk with a tricep roll up. Now, tricep roll ups really aren't seen very commonly, but I'm gonna show you right here, okay? It's like a forearm plank, but the problem is a lot of people do this on forearm planks. I need you guys um, having your shoulder stacked directly above your elbow joint, okay? And when you press up, sending the elbows straight back rather than flaring them out to the side. That actually increases your potential of hurting your shoulder, okay? So send them straight back, okay? So I'm going to show you the full version first. All right, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. So what it's gonna look like, keep your core tight. I'll start over here in that plank pose. You go one, two, three, roll it down, press up, exhale, squeeze. Other side. One, two, three, roll it down, press up, squeeze, okay? We're going to be going five to one side, five to the other side, modified version. You do the full plank walk, but then for the roll up, hips down, here, squeeze, okay? Also, when pressing up, in order to fully activate the tricep, I want you guys pressing up through the heel of your hand right here, okay? Just like we press up through the heel of our foot when doing a squat because it links directly to the glute, right? You feel it right in the center of the gluteal muscle. Same thing with the triceps. Press up through the heel of the hand, you're gonna feel it right here in the center of the tricep muscles, okay? So, after we do that, you guys are doing some front squats, okay? So for that, um, Another option here I have for you guys, I thought of this, if you have some heavy textbooks, okay, my old anatomy and physiology textbook, you can hold it here in that goblet position, front squat, chest out, shoulders around the back, push that butt back, okay, knees out to the side, pressing up through the heel. Another option for you guys to use. Remember that video that I did the water case cleans with a few days ago? Yeah. The package is still holding up strong, okay? Pretty good plastic, I must say. So, you guys can hold it here, elbows up. Do some front squats with this. If you got a 24 pack, a 36 pack, whatever it is, you guys can use that as well. All right? Um, and then lastly, you guys are doing an alternating row. So you guys can use dumbbells if they're available to you. I'm gonna be alternating between um, household items and dumbbells. Maybe the first round, I'll do some household items for you guys. And then the second round, I'll, I'll actually use like real equipment um, to show both ends of it. All right, but alternating row. So you can do it with dumbbells or you can do it with Woolite cases of water. Oh, if you guys uh, happen to go to the store, if you pick up these, these are phenomenal. Okay, pretty heavy weight. Another really good idea is um, if you end up going to the beach, if you empty these out, you can fill them with sand, okay? Um, yeah, hose water is fine too, but if you want something a little bit heavier, for my heavier lifters out there, um, more in, in particular the males, fill them up with sand. They will be pretty heavy for you, okay? So um, you can do bent over rows with these, okay? Good heavy resistance over there. Or you can do um, you can do it with the wool light, chest out, shoulders around the back, feet hip distance apart. So what it's gonna look like, one, one, double row for two. Then you switch arms, one, one, double. Then you switch back to the right side, double. We're doing 10 of those, okay? So that is the whole sequence. We're gonna repeat this sequence three times
runs through. You guys will be dead by the end of this if you are using the appropriate weights, working as hard as you can, all right? So I'm gonna adjust my music, okay? Get myself a drink of water, get my life together, and then we will get started, okay? I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm pretty nervous for this workout. This one's a tough one. I feel it in my bones. When I was writing it, I had like a little bit of evil going on. Like, oh, this one's gonna be a killer. All right, guys, we're gonna get ready for those jumping jacks.
get yourself a drink and we're gonna begin. Okay? 
If it's not tough enough for you, how tough are you? Challenge yourself with that weight, okay? Don't be afraid to grab the heavier weights. If you gotta drop down, you drop down. That's totally fine, okay? But tap into your max potential.
Two, three, two. 
That was tough. The salty spittoon is no joke, guys. How tough are ya? Do you remember? SpongeBob, he tried opening uh, the bottle of ketchup and he's like, I could just run this under some hot water. All right, guys. Let's stretch this work of art out. Exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, hold it up at the top. Woo, lengthen your spine. My shoulders are on fire, guys. My poor deltoids. Lean over and look up. Can you see me? My stupid water case is in the way. Hand down. Woo! Bring it to center. All right, grab your opposite elbows here. Let your trunk hang heavy. Rock it out side to side with a slight bend in your knees. Come to stillness and roll up. Woo! Inhale up, lean over, other side. Arm down. Deep guys. Center. Walk your feet together. Bend the knees, roll up. All right, right foot in front, toe up, push your butt back from that side view. You're looking like this. Switch, I mean guys, like, you gone? If I'm dead right now, my prayers are with you for tomorrow, okay? Your poor muscles. Stand up, <laughs> quad stretch. Oh geez, I can't even balance. Make sure you drink plenty of fluids after this. Switch. We had a little waterfall, okay? A little sweat waterfall. All right, third form of stretch. Cross, sit, bend, stare at something to balance. Woo! Switch. I also want to let you guys know too, that when I do these workouts, like, most times I don't run through them. So like you're getting the workout raw, meaning like I have no anticipation of what it's gonna feel like. I just know from the exercise uh, sequencing that it's gonna be challenging. So like I don't make it any easier, any harder. Like I'm just as surprised as you guys throughout the whole thing. So if that makes you feel any better. Push your butt back, stretch out your inner thigh. Toe up and switch to the other side. That's a big surprise for everyone. It's just a surprise for you guys. All right. Stretch out your arms. Oh. Breathe. Switch. All right. Tricep stretch, lift your chin up, pull your elbow back. Lengthen your spine here. Switch. All right, arms down, inhale them up. Lengthen that spine, lean over, side body stretch, exhaling. Inhaling on the way up and exhaling. Inhale on the way up, puff your chest out, round your shoulders back, guys. Squeeze, extending here. All right, fingertips interlock. Push the air away from me, tucking that upper back. We're rounding that upper back, tucking the tail. Release. Guys, I'm on an exercise high right now, so my brain's a little foggy, uh, an aerobic high. One last inhale up, and exhale. Fabulous job, everyone. All right, um, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Share this workout with a guy friend you have, okay? Challenge them. We have so many bodybuilders out there, so many Olympic lifters, so many power lifters. 
have them challenge themselves in a different way. It's really good to um, mix up the different types of exercise we do, okay? Because we always need to be shocking our body. When our body kind of predicts the workout we're gonna be doing, um, it no longer adapts and it no longer, longer changes and therefore we no longer really see improvements, okay, within the body, both yes, um, physically, but also like neurologically, okay? Happening within the muscles. So it's really important to change always the number of reps, the sets, the duration, the intensity of the exercise, the style of exercise as well, because we always wanna be improving, we always wanna be accomplishing more than we did the previous day, okay? So give different types of fitness a try, okay? Go out of your comfort zone, this is a comfort zone. This is a fantastic time to do that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's workout. I hope you got your butt kicked. I hope you feel it's worth it. And I will see you guys again shortly.